This is what wind turbines off the coast of Ocean City will look like if built 17 miles offshore. The rendition comes from U.S. Wind, the company that wants to build 32 of them. The Maryland Public Service Commission gave them the green light to do it. The project continues on its development timeline. We still expect to be in service by 2021, and uh, that means we're submitting our construction permits this year. In Ocean City, the beach matters. Its 10 miles of coastline is the number one asset for Maryland's vacation capital, generating $150 million in tax revenues for the state. The mayor, some council members, and business owners support legislation requiring wind turbines to be at least 26 to 30 miles offshore. We want offshore wind, we just don't want to see it. 26 miles is the distance where the turbines definitely can't be seen. But in this rendition, company officials argue, you'd be hard-pressed to notice the 370-foot turbine 17 miles offshore, also citing a number of reasons why they can't go out further. The Department of Defense had issues with it going out to 30 miles. Uh, the Coast Guard had issues with it going out to 30 miles. And Maritime Commerce had an issue with it going out to 30 miles. A SAGE policy group study commissioned by U.S. Wind finds that turbines, if seen offshore, will not have a negative impact on property values or tourism. A Goucher poll also finds public support for the project. Uh, if the legislature doesn't respond, I believe Ocean City will, and they'll do it in a legal way. So this is the polite way to resolve this issue. U.S. Wind says they don't have the leasing rights to that area, and if they had to start over, the process will take another five years. They warned the $1.6 billion project that would bring jobs to Ocean City and thousands of turbine manufacturing jobs to Baltimore County would be lost. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.